Okay, so a lot of you may have seen it now. Some footage flying around that Jamal Charlo, the WBC middleweight world champion, has called out Dimitri Bivol. He's seen him face to face and said, you and me, let's fight at 168. So basically we're meeting halfway. Dimitri Bivol, for those of you who don't know, he's a light heavyweight. So we meet at halfway, 168, super middleweight. Is Charlo serious? No. How do we know he's not serious? Because we've seen all this crap before. If you know you're gonna fight a in-house, David Benavidez, do you think he's gonna fight Dimitri Bivol? Do you? And Harry says how Bivol, he's willing to fight Canelo 168, yeah. Well, Canelo brings a lot of money. Canelo is the undisputed super middleweight world champion. You are middleweight world champion. What? So you want Bivol, who, who can go make millions, to fight you as super middleweight for no belt? Hmm. Yet you want to fight David Benavidez. And we have to give David Benavidez at least some credit because he's going to be fighting Keller Plant next. Interesting fight. I'm up for that fight. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't pay for it, but it's an interesting fight. What's Charlo doing? Has Charlo even had a fight this year? I'm pretty sure he hasn't. So calling out Bivol, it's all about clout chasing. That's all it is. Charlo, who doesn't have any elite wins on his record, never once unified. What? He thinks that Bivol should fight Charlo? No. Do you think the, that the PBC will allow Charlo to go on zone? Bivol is a zone fighter, matching fighter. Well, if you want to have to fight, then then it's going to be a cross promotion with Showtime. Well, Showtime, who can't even afford to put on fight nights, decent fight nights, can't afford it without without throwing it on pay per view. Really? It's all garbage. It's, it's it's all garbage. And if somehow this did happen, even though Bivol would be a little bit depleted at 168, we all know the result. The result would be Dimitri Bivol would punch Jamal Charlo upside down. Easy work, probably stop him as well. But anyway, can't blame him for trying, can you? Can't blame him for get, getting himself into the news. But again, you know, we've seen this from Charlo with uh, other fighters, like Demetrius Andrade, turned down millions to fight, fight Andrade. Turned down millions. Danny Jacobs, well that fight never materialized, did it? Charlo is full of it, unfortunately. Good fighter, I actually like him, but he's full of it. My thoughts, drop me yours, click on the subscribe. Catch you next video.